I'm Ashley DeCarl Antonio, and this is your BG24 News Online video update. There are plenty of fun things for the lovebirds and the birds flying solo to do this weekend in Bowling Green. BG's annual Winterfest takes place this weekend in the Huntington Courtyard on the 100 block of South Main Street. Valentine's Day activities include carriage and trolley rides after 6 p.m. There will also be ice carvers on Friday and Saturday creating a giant heart and cupids. Other activities include snow games, ice skating, frostbite fun run, live music, and more. Typically children worry about getting in trouble with their parents, but one 13-year-old was more concerned with getting his parents in trouble. The Toledo teen called the police after being concerned with his father and his father's girlfriends fighting. When the authorities got to the home, they went to find the caller when he told the cops there was something he had to show them. The teen took the cops into the basement and showed them 17 marijuana plants being grown. The adults were arrested for a number of charges, including endangering children, assault, drug paraphernalia, and more. The father is being held at the Lucas County Jail, with bail set at $100,000. There was also an 11-year-old child in the house at the time. People are taking the oath of American citizenship more frequently than most realize. Immigrants from all over the world are pledging allegiance to the flag in every state in the U.S. More recently, there was a ceremony right in our own backyard. Yesterday, there were 16 people that became new Americans in a ceremony in Waterville. Some of the new citizens have waited close to 10 years to become Americans, and those dreams were finally able to come true. A young girl in Cincinnati called help via email to her online school teacher. The girls asked the teacher to call 911 because she and her siblings were being abused. The children's mother, grandmother, and stepfather were all arrested. The man was charged for repeatedly raping both of the young girls ages 9 and 11, and also for abuse of the 8-year-old brother. The children told authorities that they were restrained by ropes and chains for sometimes weeks at a time, with an occasional exception for online schoolwork. They also claimed to be beaten with belts and paddles. Lawmakers in Honolulu, Hawaii are considering the ukulele for their official state instrument. A bill will have to pass in order for the instrument to be dedicated. Many native Hawaiians believe the ukulele sounds like Hawaii and it helps the newcomers and tourists to understand the culture a little more. The ukulele gives insight to their local culture. As nice as it is to imagine the weather in Hawaii, it's time to bring you back to the cold for our weather report. With all of the snow and bitter cold we've been having, it's nice to see temperatures above 20 degrees. Today's forecast is partly cloudy with a high of 29 degrees. Winds will be between 5 and 10 miles per hour. There is a 10 to 20 percent chance of snow all weekend. Tomorrow will have a high of 24 degrees and a low of 2 degrees with winds up to 17 miles per hour. Saturday's temperatures will be a high of 23 degrees and a low of 7 with winds around 9 miles per hour. And on Sunday we'll see temperatures with a high of 24 degrees and a low of 5. Winds will not change much from Saturday. Although the temperatures are above freezing it will still be pretty cold outside. Our Falcon sports teams will be keeping warm everywhere but home this weekend. The ice hockey team will be playing Alaska Anchorage in Alaska both Friday and Saturday. The women's tennis will be in Cleveland on Friday. While women's track and women's basketball keep busy in Michigan. Baseball is playing in Nashville both Friday and Saturday, and softball has a doubleheader on Saturday. Finally, gymnastics will be in Maryland on Saturday. Tune into our sports show on Monday night to find out how all of our teams do over the weekend. As always, thank you for tuning into your campus and community connection.